All right, guys, welcome back. Uh, I'm getting ready to, uh, well, I'm, I'm preparing the cylinder head for installation. Basically, I'm just going over it, and I'm going to give it a, a real good cleaning. I'm going to clean out any uh, bolt holes. I'll use a chaser. I'll use an air gun. I'll wipe it down. But I also want to show you why it's important to not just take a head out of the box and bolt it down to your motor. Um... Let me see if I could focus in. Uh, you see back there? See all those little shards of aluminum? What? See that? So that's what I'm talking about. You also want to try to knock them off and clean all those little uh, shards of aluminum out of there. Because that will fall down into your... Uh, motor eventually um, you see over here it's got some grease back there from the factory and the grease captured uh, some shards of aluminum yeah, you can see it right there so uh Check your heads out and give them a look over before you go and bolt them on. I got something here. Let me just show you one more thing. Give me a second. On the uh, intake side of the head, you have to be careful on the uh, four ports here because if you look you know these heads you know are from Texas Speed precision race components you can see right there that because they open up these chambers so much it actually cuts into the bolt hole where the rocker arm goes so for all the bolt holes bolt holes like right here for this intake where that rocker bolt goes you have to put RTV sealant well I'm gonna put black RTV sealant here some people put some type of Teflon paste I'm gonna put a uh, RTV sealant black RTV sealant because if you don't, it'll actually create a vacuum and you'll be pulling oil from the top of the head here through the bolt holes and down into the uh, chambers and into the motor. So you don't want to do that. So for all the rocker bolts that go through the uh, down and meet into the uh, cut into the intake chamber. You got to use that black RTV. So that's just another little uh, tip. All right, so let me get back to work. I'm gonna try getting rid of all those uh, aluminum shards. Let me show you here. See that right there? Look at that. See those two pieces of aluminum shards that are sticking out? That will fall down into the engine. You don't want that. Now on the exhaust side, you don't have to worry about that. Because the uh, chambers don't have any clearance or interference with the uh, rocker arm bolts. It's just on the intake side. Alright, so let me get back. Alright guys, welcome back. Um, <clears throat> this is the second cylinder head. And in case you don't really think it's a big deal... To stick a brand new head out of the box onto your motor, let me just show you why. Again, why it's important you clean it up the best you can and give it a good look over. So you see that? And that doesn't take a lot of effort to knock off. I could just knock that off with this pick right here. It'll come right off, but that's not 
why that's not the main reason why I'm showing this again but look at that big piece back there where do you think that's gonna go that's gonna go down into your engine and that doesn't take a lot of effort so don't think for one minute that that'll never fall off here watch this let me try to see if I can knock this off for you guys get it on video let's see give me a second let's see Watch, it doesn't take a lot of effort to knock that down. Oh, look at that. Oh, there you go. Let me grab that piece. Okay, that's a significant size piece of aluminum shard. And yes, it's from the machining process, but you definitely don't want this crap falling into your engine. Alright, so... You can use different tools to try to clean off, like, this corner here. Some people might use a Dremel. I don't want to use that, <clears throat> even though I have one with variable speeds. I just prefer to use a 8 inch half round file. And what I do is I take the rounded side and I basically I will take the half rounded side and I will try to center it right along here and I will make maybe 10 passes and then stop so if you look here like the pick gets stuck the pick can't come down it gets held up here but over here where you don't have any aluminum shards the pick just freely falls down so after I make like 10 passes with the file very gently I don't put a lot of pressure I let the tool do the work I stop and then when I feel that there's no resistance then I'm confident enough that I had removed all the aluminum shards. That's got a lot down there. See that? Be back later. Let me get to work. Alright, so I just want to show you, you saw what this one looked like before. So I just did some filing. And I basically just knocked everything off that edge. Now I could pass this uh, pick. And it doesn't get hung up on anything, as you can see. It just falls over this edge with no problem. So I'm confident enough that I got all the loose material off. And then I'll take my shop vac. I'll vacuum this out. I'll spray some uh, brake cleaner on a rag. Wipe it down. Use my air gun. So I just used this uh, half round file and I just took the about the uh, center portion of this file right about here rested it right on the edge and then just worked it a little bit like you know rock it a little bit this way all right let me get back to work I'll be back okay I cleaned up this uh, passage in case you're wondering if I'm going to do any damage to the head, no, because this is just a passage for um, the push rod. So, uh, I got rid of all the shards here over here. Now the pick just uh, falls over the edge, nothing hangs it up. Come on. That's the best I could do. So there you see. Just take your time. Use the tool you're comfortable with and get rid of all those aluminum shards. Now I'll work on this one. Alright, I'll be back. Alright, there you go. It's about a minute later. And I got all those shards knocked down. And it's 
it's, you know, it's burr free basically on the edges here. No hang ups, no loose pieces that are going to fall down into the engine. All right, that's basically how you do it. I'll be back. All right, guys, I'm still working on the heads. I just want to show you. Uh, I made a chaser bolt out of a bolt I had lying around. Cut two grooves into it. And I'm cleaning out the threads for the rocker arm bolts on the uh, intake side. But I want to show you over here as the bolt comes through what I saw happening on the uh, first head, on the other head that I was cleaning out. Let's see if it happens again. Hold on. Okay. Here we go. Wait for it. Wait for it. <laughs> All right, let's see if it Oh, there you go. Watch the bottom. Right there. See, it's opening up. It just cracked. There you go. See that? You can see some of the shards. That's why it's important you clean out your bolt holes, chase them out. I'm just going to take this out. I'll be back. And I took the bolt out. But you can see what happened is the bottom piece actually opens up once a bolt gets threaded in there. So now I got to like pick at that and remove it. You can see some other shards up there too. Like right there. Just got to knock that off. But that will definitely fall down into your intake. Like, let's say you just bolted these heads on. You put the rocker bolts on. You torqued it. That will fall down into the intake chamber. Down by the valve. And down into the piston. And that's what you don't want to happen. So please, take your time. Go through your heads carefully like I'm doing. Let me see if I could try to knock that little shard off. So you guys can see it. Try and do this with one hand. God damn it. I don't want to scratch the chamber. Did I get it? Yeah, I got it. Well, I knocked it down. Can you see that right there? There you go. You got to be careful with that stuff. All right, guys, I'll be back. All right, let me just show you guys what I'm doing here. I'm using a brake clean, and I'm cleaning out the bolt holes. Um, first, I'm just starting with the uh, bolt holes <clears throat> that don't go into the intake runner. So I'm working on this one. Just basically, I just took the brake clean and cleaned it out. This one, now I'm working on this one down here. I kind of put a bib here, and I'll show you guys why I do that. Um, these bolt holes have a lot of material left in them, a lot of aluminum shards. And, uh, I can't stress how important it is to clean these out. Now, even if you try to use just your air gun, at least you do something, but, uh, I would chase them with a thread chaser. I would use the brake clean, and then I would blow them out with the air gun. And I'll show you why. Um, I can't do this with, uh one hand. I gotta tilt the head forward, hold it here because I uh, I have the uh, brake fluid spill onto here to catch the material and I'll show you. I'll be back. Okay, so I uh, washed out that bolt hole with the brake clean and look at all of that crap that came out. I put a lot of brake clean in there but uh, and it is aluminum. See that? But look at all that that came out. And 
and that could have gone into your engine potentially. Alright guys, let me get back to work.